Hi friends, today's topic is affinity, efficacy and potency. I want to discuss the difference among these three terms. So let us start. Number one is the affinity. Affinity means to love. So it's an ability of a drug to bind to its receptors. It actually describes the strength of interaction between a drug and its receptor. So that's all for affinity in simple words. Now moving towards the second term and that is efficacy. Efficacy is the maximum effect of a drug that can be achieved regardless of dose. It denotes the extent or degree of an effect that can be achieved in an intact patient. It is explained as an agonist when combined with a receptor it produces a response as the dose is increased, response is also increased till a maximum effect is produced. At this point, the response remains the same even when dose is increased. This maximum response is called efficacy. Now, this is the graph showing concentration of drug on x-axis and response on y-axis. There are three drugs A, B and C. The drug A is uh, having its maximum effect at this point. Uh, at this point, when the uh, drug concentration is further increased, there is no increase in the response of this drug. The graph has now become flattened. It becomes uh, plateau. So it means there, with the increase in the concentration of drug, there is no increase in the response. So at this point, this is the maximum effect of this drug A. The drug B is having its maximum effect at this point and beyond this point when the dose of the drug is increased, there is no increase in the response of this drug. The, dra uh, the graph is smooth and flat now. Same is the case with the drug C here at this point it is having its maximum effect and beyond this point with the increase in the concentration of drug there is no increase in the response the drug is the graph is flattened so among these three drugs the highest efficacy is of drug a then the uh, efficacy of drug b and then C. The significance of this efficacy is that it's important for making clinical decisions when a large response is desired. That is when you need a greater uh, response to be achieved in some cases. Then we consider the efficacy of the drug. Let us suppose drug A, B and C uh, are used, supposed to be used in a um, same disease. Then uh, as we need a greater response to be achieved, so we would cho choose drug A in this case because it's having its highest efficacy. So that's all about efficacy. Now moving towards the uh, uh, potency. It denotes the amount of drug needed to produce an effect of given magnitude. For example, drug B produces a response with a dose of 5 mg. Drug A produces same response with a dose of 10 mg. Means drug B is more potent than A because it is producing the response with a lesser dose compared to drug A. Significance is greater with the potency of a drug, smaller would be the dose required. But clinically it has no value as increasing the dose of drug A in the above mentioned example, same effect can be produced though side effects may be greater. Thus the prescriber should consider their relative effectiveness rather than relative potency. Explained as uh, drug B, uh, it produces a response at the dose of 5 mg and drug 
A produces the same effect with a dose of 10 mg means the dose, the concentration of drug is increased. Along with it, the side effects would be greater as well. So we consider the relative effectiveness of a drug clinically rather than potency. Now let us see this graph. The drug concentration is shown on x-axis, response is shown on y-axis. The drug A, B, C and D. The drug A is having highest potency than B and B is having higher, greater potency than C and C is having greater potency than D. Lowest potency is that of drug D. It is explained as uh, uh, at this uh, concentration of drug, the response achieved by drug A is here. The concentration is 0.1 uh, in case of drug A. The same uh, response that can be achieved by drug B but with a greater concentration more than 0.1. So it means drug A is more potent because here less concentration is required to produce the effect while drug B produces the same effect but with the more concentration. Then drug C, it is producing the same response but with the dose of 1. It means the dose is further increased in case of drug C. In drug D, the dose is uh, increased um, further. But the response is same while the dose is increased, concentration is increased. So it means the drug which is producing the uh, same response with more dose, more concentration, it is having lowest potency. But the most potent is the drug A. But here with the increase in the concentration, uh, the side effects are also greater. Although the effect is same, the response is same. So this is all about potency. Hope my video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.